the uh, AR88 and just um, on soak test near the bench and I leave it on for a few hours every day I'm just tuning around the bands usually leave it on a, on a broadcast band station but occasionally I'll just leave it tuned to WWV or other shortwave station it's on uh, 15 megahertz at the moment the, uh, the track is slightly out at, uh, at 15 megahertz but it's good at either end of the band so it's probably about as good as you're going to get on this uh, set without starting to fiddle with the um, the tuning capacitor vanes. I don't really want to do that, it's not essential that it's absolutely accurate. Um, set's actually a pleasure to use, it's a beautiful smooth tuning. I've got it on selectivity position 3. 2 is the normal one, but um, position 2 on an AR88 is pretty wide still, and 1 is very broad. Position three, aligned per the instructions, is a little bit on the narrow side. It's about 1.3 kilohertz, something like that, I think. Which might be okay for sideband, maybe a little tight for sideband even. But it's certainly no good for AM. So I'm thinking I might um, tweak the, the crystal phasing um, for position three there and uh, widen the uh, the pass band up a little bit um, for selectivity position 3. It will affect 4 and 5 slightly as well so I'll probably check with the spectrum analyzer just to see how it uh, how it affects those and give them a tweak if needed. These are really nice and narrow um, with the, the 5 is, is less than 100 hertz which is great. Also, notice the log the logging scale is um, is resetting when when this is at the junction between two of the uh, divisions on the bottom there. This should be at zero, and it's at about sixty. So when it goes from say to the eleven twelve boundary, it's at sixty again. So I need to just slacken the uh, the logging scale vernier off and uh, rotate it uh, until it coincides. It's another little adjustment. Um, but otherwise, it's uh, it's been it's been working well since I, uh, I completed the refurbishment and the realignment. Um, which is well, one odd thing is I noticed when I put the cover back on the um, the RF section, the label on here is AR88D. And my understanding with this is an AR88. There's no D on the uh, on the scale there. Um, but you know, they're very, very similar sets. The D was a later model. It doesn't stand for diversity like a lot of people think. I think the Model F was the diversity reception. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, do a little bit of an update and I'll uh, leave it working for the rest of the week and I uh, might do the little tweaks to the uh, selectivity. Oh, and I've also got the, uh, the pan adapter disassembled at the moment. I, um, I took the graticule off the uh, the cathode ray tube today and scanned it, and I may uh, tweak the um, centre frequency slightly to work better with the with this AR88 because I've um, I fitted a socket on the back of this to uh, bring out the the frequency from the mixer tube, and it works quite well with it. But the little bit of a discrepancy between the IF uh, of the AR88, which is set for the crystal frequency in the set. And the um, the center frequency of the of the uh, pan adapter, which is set for 455 on the nose, so I might tweak that slightly to bring it in line with the um, with the AR88. Because I think that's these these two units are owned by the same person; they're probably going to be used together.